I recently got the chance to attend this year's LoRaWAN Live event in Orlando, Florida, where I talked to 15 companies about how they are using LoRaWAN. As soon as I arrived, I could feel the enthusiasm in the room. It was clear that there was a true sense of community and passion shared by each individual and their company, and I truly believe this is a big factor in the ongoing success of the LoRaWAN ecosystem. After visiting the marketplace, I made my way to the main stage where the speaker panels and presentations took place. Let's take a look. The Lore Alliance is an association of low power wide area networking. We have hundreds and hundreds of members. So here at uh, in Orlando, the focus of LoRaWAN Live is primarily on cities, buildings, and utilities. Really looking at our strengths, which is penetrating through concrete and steel and long distance, low power. So just growth. I mean, we're seeing vertical growth, horizontal growth, and I'm also excited to announce we have just soft launched the LoRaWAN Accredited Professional Program, which certifies individuals who have passed LoRaWAN testing. And it really demonstrates that these individuals have an advanced knowledge of LoRaWAN. So we're excited about that. And the program will be launching for uh, testing May 1. Hi, I'm Rich Sanders. Gaurav Nayak. Jen Svossen. Mike Hartree. Nicole Coughlin. Raza Jaffrey. Colin Adderley. Olivier Beaujau. Paul McManus. Scott Cubis. Dave Smith. Zal Pariegin. Barney Barnowski. Joel Bernson. Boris Duckerman. How are you using LoRaWAN? We provide a IoT connectivity platform that includes LoRaWAN for solution providers who are looking to sell LoRaWAN-based solutions to customers. We also provide our own end solutions to customers using LoRaWAN. One of our largest deployments is with Starbucks, who has covered 10,000 locations using our platform. Well, LoRaWAN presents a huge opportunity for us globally. We're one of the largest deployers of the LoRaWAN technology because it is an open protocol that gives our customers more flexibility with integrating vertically with our products, but also keeping an open platform so that they can use other vendors of like technologies that we have. We use LoRaWAN as part of our smart washroom solution as the network layer. We take the data from our dispensers, communicate it through the, the LoRaWAN protocol, and then provide an end user solution to our customers through a mobile application. We're vendors, so we have 14 or so uh, LoRa sensors that we sell, and we have a cloud-based LoRa product, Industrial Asset Vision, and we now have a few LoRa gateways that we sell. We have implemented LoRaWAN across the town, and so we're we're now in the phase where we're trying to do some test cases, test out the technology. We are building um, a brand new destination park downtown that we plan to use as a test bed for um, Laura Wynn and then see how it does there and then be able to roll it out throughout the town. So we're here not just representing Canada, but representing the digital twin world. MetaWorld X builds digital twins. We integrate IoT smart cities. We've been using LoRaWAN to really get visibility to things that we non traditionally have had visibility to. LoRaWAN presents the opportunity to have visibility to things that don't require power. So Semtech has a unique role in the ecosystem as we are the main supplier of the LoRa chipset for everyone using LoRa technology and LoRaWAN technologies. We didn't actually know who we were going to sell LoRaWAN services to when we started seven years ago. It became apparent that uh, smart cities was a very hot area for this kind of technology and collecting data from the environment uh, to help municipalities to make better decisions. We supply the LoRaWAN network server, which of course is the software that is designed to run and manage the entire LoRaWAN network. And so we have a family of uh, LoRaWAN servers. Get Wireless is a value added distributor. So we do not sell to end users, we sell to a very large pool of resellers. So systems integrators, bars, those kinds of things. We have uh, numerous uh, public networks all around the world, um, around 60 public networks, uh, many of which are nation providing nationwide coverage. And we have numerous enterprise networks deploying or has deployed the LoRaWAN. And there are 
all sorts of use cases running on them, tracking, smart buildings, smart agriculture, smart cities, smart industries. Tectile Communications is one of the leading providers of LoRaWAN equipment, specifically uh, carrier gateways, as well as end devices uh, and a number of end-to-end -end solutions. We make proprietary hardware. This one here in my hand is called the Hot Drop. LoRaWAN is sort of the IoT backbone for this. We use it to communicate. We ingest the data into our cloud. We do some stuff with it inside our cloud to decrypt the packets and then um, we deliver those to APIs and to a wide range of end user applications. We are running a, a big network here. So we're enabling actually utilities. We enabled our own devices. We are manufacturing of water meters, primarily gas meters. How do we step into also in the IT devices? So all kinds of sensors. And we ramped up our own gateway infrastructure with developing LoRaWAN gateways. What brought you to the event? Machine Q has been a proud sponsor of the Laura Alliance since 2017. We are a member of the board and we're very excited to be here at this event to meet with our partners, to meet with our customers, and to meet with prospective solution providers. We're here to talk about our products, talk about how LoRaWAN can help industries, especially the utility industry, protect their assets, their employees, their equipment, and function more economically. We are here to talk about Georgia Pacific's application of LoRaWAN, more specifically why we chose it and why we continue to evolve our partnerships in the LoRaWAN ecosystem. I'm here to meet other uh, companies, other people, see what innovations are going on in the space, understand where the Laura Alliance is going and basically network. We're really looking for partners to look at the technologies that are out there, how to make sure that we've picked the right partners, learn from other cities that are here. I'm here at the event because I'm speaking tomorrow morning along with AWS, our partners. We are in the LoRaWAN Alliance ecosystem. We're going to be showing the first large-scale digital twin with live data tomorrow morning right here. We were lucky enough to have the opportunity to be part of a keynote. As part of the keynote, we talk about our story. LoRaWAN's a great technology. We're very comfortable and confident that there's good use cases. Now we're ready to kind of open up a larger ecosystem and help solve more problems within the city of Calgary. We came to this uh, event of the LoRaWAN Alliance in Orlando as the U.S. market is pretty important for us. It's a highly developing market. And we just launched today a new solution, a new product called LR1121, which is a multi-frequency band solution for LoRa. It covers LoRa 1 in sub-gig frequency, LoRa in 2.4, and satellite technology. All in one is in a chipset package. We have this product that's been very successful in Australia. It's a LoRaWAN people counter. It actually counts Wi-Fi devices like smartphones and gives our customers an approximation of how many people were in a particular zone. And we think that this is going to be just as popular in the US as it's been in Australia. So this is a great place to launch it. Product that we've had for several years, but now are just commercializing is our samples noise sensor, which uh, has been deployed in the city of Geneva in Switzerland, so our hometown. We've got a pretty sizable deployment there of almost a thousand of these sensors. So it's measuring noise. Uh, the principal use case was originally just noise violations, but now they utilize it for measuring the noise produced by auto traffic during rush hour and so forth, and they use it to set the traffic patterns, lights. So it's a pretty interesting use case. As chair of the certification committee, I'm here mostly to handle all those things detailing with certification. But Get Wireless also carries and sells a number of different LoRaWAN-based products. We had numerous talks and presentations uh, at this event. We have also demonstrated the relay feature, the newly published relay feature. We have the very first implementation of that together with Semtech. We have demonstrated that. And we've been also running a, a showcase a network, so-called LoRaWAN in Action, featuring uh, indoor-outdoor tracking using um, everywhere trackers. This is our, we call it the Photon. It's our Photon Gateway. Uh, it's an eight-channel LoRa-based gateway, and it really solves the problem of essentially the deployment. So you can put this on a rooftop uh, without having to run any electrical uh, wiring to it. Simply, it charges from the sun. I'm excited to network with everyone here. I'm real excited about what's happening in the industry more broadly. I'm looking to expand our partnerships, learn more about what other organizations are doing, and then share what we're doing. We came here to the U.S. especially because. We are actually bringing our LoRaWAN technology stack to the U.S., to our company here in the U.S., which is the Zener U.S. team and the Minol U.S. team. What are you most excited about in 2023 for LoRaWAN? 
there are specific aspects of LoRaWAN that are far superior to other IoT connectivity platforms. We finally reached the point here today where companies and solution providers have embraced LoRaWAN as their solution of choice. We're seeing large growth in a few different sectors, particularly in food safety and food compliance. The open protocol, the LoRa Open WAN certified interoperable protocol is amazing. It's going to open up vendors to be able to serve their customers at a much lower cost and provide a better ROI for all their customers. I'm most excited for meeting new people and you know, kind of expanding our, our presence in order to help grow our business and be a more active participant. Well, I'm super excited about our new gateway, which is a module for the Cisco 1101 router. Uh, it just clips on to the top, so now we're able to add LoRa as a networking option right next to 4 and 5G. We're most excited, I think, about LoRaWAN is the ability that it gives not just Cary, but the communities around us that you know aren't maybe as fortunate to have the resources that we do and are getting the same pressures, I think, from everyone else about using technology for citizen enablement, efficiency, problem solving, and we're able to then take the network and expand it. To be involved and around the people and, and the contributors in this environment as well as this ecosystem. For MetaWorld X, it's very important for us to meet our stakeholders, partners, and the entire LoRaWAN ecosystem here, so we're excited to be here. I'm excited to help our internal business units drive efficiency. There's a tremendous opportunity to really uh, reinvent our operations and certain operating groups when we can use this technology. We'll really focus on the benefits we are bringing to the planet and to the businesses, as we have a lot of valid use cases that we all need to grow further and further in volumes. Well, it really seems to have gained a lot of momentum. If you look back five or six years ago, we spent most of our time explaining to people for what LoRaWAN was and why it was actually necessary. I can really feel there's a momentum building in the industry now around LoRaWAN and this, the hundreds and hundreds of use cases that it can be put to. The evolution of the technology, it's, it continues to improve and add new features and capabilities, become more robust. And then also the ecosystem and the growing ecosystem that exists around it. There's lots of great companies producing lots of great solutions, which obviously adds to the value of LoRaWAN as a technology. Our interoperability uh, testing that we're going to be beginning this year, uh, our LoRaWAN web certification system that's going to make the whole process simpler, a lot of things going on with certification, and we're seeing this huge trend because of it of manufacturers, operators, application providers, all desiring and requiring certification. So that's great. We are very excited about the new development in this space. Numerous other satellite uh, networks are coming up supporting LoRaWAN and we've been integrating them. And we have also integrated uh, community networks on the ground, most notably Helium. And recently we have issued a PR disclosing not only we provide a technical interconnection, but also a commercial inter interconnection, being able to uh, resell Helium connectivity to public and private networks. We've seen over the last couple of years a significant uptick in uh, customers who are starting to deploy LoRa for real applications and solving real challenges uh, within the industry. We're hoping to uh, obviously participate in that by making uh, LoRa easier and uh, more cost effective to deploy. I'm excited to see the adoption both on the public and the private side. I see more and more organizations standardizing on it as at least one of their IoT protocols that they're using enterprise-wide and that ultimately makes it easier for us to deploy our solution. The most in, uh, interesting thing actually is that I think and this is the real strength of it next to all these things like low power, long distance reach, uh, is that we're with LoRaWAN is bringing all together all different verticals, hundreds of use cases, especially this is very interesting for the cities that you bring and bridge the different silos to each other's. In the past, they, every single department has their own stuff. Now they can use the same technology and only need to have one network, they have the freedom of choice, they're not vendor locked in as long as they stay with the LoRaWAN stuff. This is pretty, pretty much awesome.